Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the dungeon. My name is Robin and today is lamp working off mandrel. The piece that we're gonna be working on today or pieces is the worry stone. This is a great little touchstone that you can always have on you that will help alleviate any stresses or anxiety that you might be feeling throughout the day. And they're really easy to use. I'm sure you've already seen these before, but um, I don't ever see them made out of glass. They're always made out of a rock or a gem or something like that. It's because of the energy that those stones can hold and then release to other people. Well, glass, I feel, does the same thing. While you're working on glass, you're putting that energy into the glass as well whether it be positive or negative. Hopefully it's not negative energy. You want to always be trying to put the positive energy into the work that you make. When I first started making glass and then flame working, I would always have like a little bit of glass from somewhere or something that I made in my pocket or in my sock or you know somewhere that whenever I would put my hands in my pockets, I would always feel that um, wonderful texture or the smoothness of the glass and i do think that it does uh, alleviate some anxiety and stress so let's go ahead and make some of these because i need stress relief right now <laughs> and you might too so um, without further ado let's get into this demonstration i hope you all really appreciate it and enjoy the um the way I'm going to be building up these pieces. It's pretty cool. So thank you all so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, try not to worry, and we'll see you next time in the dungeon. All right, we're gonna start this out using a really big bundle of glass. I have about eight, maybe nine pieces of glass here, counting the one in the center that you'll never see. <laughs> But um, this will really help you to build up a lot of glass really quick so you can make these faster. Everything's uh, held together by a rubber band, so <laughs> be careful not to get it too hot. I'm going to heat this glass up very gently. I don't really wave it in the flame. Um, I just hold it in the flame. I think that might be from my glass blowing background. I never really get a lot of popping happening if I just gently hold the glass in the flame. Once it starts to get hot, I'll flip it over and pretty much I'm ready to go. And what I'm doing here is just lifting up all those bits of rods together so they're all touching. And then I'm going to heat that up. You can marver it into a slight pencil point if you want to. But what you're going to do is take off that very top part so that all of the glass rods are meeting together at that central point. Now we're going to add our punty to the very bottom and start our pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm heating up and I'm twisting one way and then I will move up those rods a little bit letting that bottom part cool down and then you're going to twist in the opposite direction and you're going to continue to do this as you work your way um, up the glass rods. You know, there's so many different ways you can do this. You don't have to twist it. You can twist it in one direction the whole way. You can twist it slightly. Um, you know, you can just push everything together if you want to. But the point is, is to get a really nice big bundle of glass Again, be careful of the rubber bands. <laughs> they don't smell really good when they're hot. <laughs> and what we want to do at this point is just go ahead and start to cinch off that section that we're going to take off. And once we have that taken off of those rods, you can pull the end of this off as well to make it a little bit neater. Either way, what we're gonna do is get it rounded up. You can use a marble mold like I'm doing here. You can make marbles. I mean, this would be a really cool marble just on itself. But um, that's for a, a demo for a different day. <laughs> so when you're finished making your shape, and like I said, it doesn't have to be round. A worry stone can be any shape you want as long as it's nice and smooth to the touch. 
And what I'm gonna do here is just flatten it down. This is one of my favorite parts because I just love to see the pattern happen after you flatten the glass down. And on every single one of these bundles, it just looked really cool. Now, once you finish that, give it a good fire polish and then figure out what side you want your indentation to be on. And once you've figured that out, give it a nice heat and press it in with a spoon. Any kind of throwaway spoon or anything with a curve that's metal will work great for this. And once you have done that, then you can go ahead and start to smooth it out a little bit more and we want to take that rod off next so we're going to add the punty and when i do a punty it is just a matter of heating up the very very tip of the glass and rolling it into a slight pencil point and i like to wait until all of that hot that hot color of the glass goes away and when you press it onto the bottom of your glass you want it to be kind of a stiff taffy feel and that will allow you to take the rod off or the punty rod off without any problems and once you're finished you can go ahead and press it one more time smooth things out shape it up and then grab it with your tweezers gently knock it off if it doesn't come off then you know what to do you just make sure you know you do whatever you can do to to break that <laughs> part away and that's it you guys your worry stone is finished and um hopefully this will help to alleviate any worries you guys might be having recently so i really hope this helps you and thanks so much for watching take care see you next time